Good morning, friends in Blackwood and beyond. I'm Mark Thomas, Minister of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Blackwood. Thanks very much for joining me again as we pause to pray. Most of you are not new to this, so most of you know that we start by lighting a candle. So let's do that now. Got my candle here. We light the candle. We, uh, in a sense, bring the candle to life. And this is our regular reminder that we meet together and pray in the name of Christ, Christ, uh, the light of the world. So with our candle lit, we can pause to pray and turn to our Bible. And uh, this week, I wanted to encourage you to uh, have a look at Psalm 82. It's Psalm 82. <coughs> I've got it with my uh, a bookmark in that somebody sent me. So uh, it sits in there for this week. And Psalm 82, uh, where it starts off by saying, God presides in the great assembly. And I encouraged you if you wanted a verse to memorize the last verse, verse eight, rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all the nations are your inheritance. Now, proper leadership seeks to protect the weak and the vulnerable and keep the powerful and wealthy in check. But too often as we look around the world and watch our news, it seems the other way around, doesn't it? people using their power to benefit themselves and impoverishing the already impoverished. Now we're familiar with the idea of someone sitting on a throne. We've got a queen or we can picture a king holding court we might say. And yet the picture that we have here in Psalm 8 is a little different. We might sometimes think of God sitting on a throne, on a heavenly throne. But I think here in Psalm 82, what we have is a, a sense of God standing in the assembly. Because standing is the posture that one would take in order to address an assembled gathering, or announcing a decision, or initiating a, a, an action. It's a picture and a reminder and a reassurance that God exercises authority over all the little gods and demigods and self-styled gods of this world. And yet this is also a brave and confident prayer, calling God to act in the face of those who are misusing their authority. For things are not so hopeless as they sometimes seem. For we have God standing before the assembly, standing before the world. Let's come to this gracious and authoritative God. Let's come and pause to pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, you are the source of all hope and strength, full of grace and truth, and whose heart is love and justice. Show us this day who we must love, and what we should challenge or change in order that your will for this earth might be done. Increase our hope, dispel our apathy, inspire our imagination and deepen our commitment until we become the signs of your kingdom and the presence of your presence in the here and now. We pray today for those guiding the nation and shaping national and local policies. We ask that you would grant them wisdom to make wise decisions for the good of all and especially the most vulnerable in our community and our country. We pray for those suffering from illness and or isolation. We would pray that you would grant them relief and recovery Restore them to health and wholeness in your good and perfect timing. We pray for those continuing to serve us nationally and locally, the many helpline operators and advisors and counsellors and solicitors and administrators and business owners. We thank you for those serving us as caregivers and shop workers and delivery drivers, and especially those unsure whether they ought to go back to work at this time. Provide to them timely advice, wise counsel, and also means of safe travel 
as they labour for others. We also pray today for charities as they serve <coughs> and for staff working out the best way to serve, often serving the most vulnerable when unaided. Grant your enabling and equipping of those who serve and aid and assist us. Be all that they are in need of this day. For those seeking new ways to work, new ways to teach, new ways to learn in our homes and our schools and our colleges and universities. Grant them your creativity and resources to accompany that. And may the flourishing of your spirit in people's lives enable others to flourish in transformative ways, perhaps beyond all that they can hope or imagine. You are the source of all hope and strength full of grace and truth and your heart is of love and justice and to you we praise and pray this day in Jesus name Amen Thanks so much for joining me again as we've paused to pray this simple act where we can gather together and come to our good and gracious God well, I'll be back again on Friday, uh, so I'll see you then. In the meantime, do uh, take care, be safe, and God bless.